uh, open file operating system configuration uh, has been done now I will create a rack node 1 uh, I will create a folder inside VMS uh, as a rack 1 I will store uh, rack 1 inside this folder will create new virtual machine select the ISO file or you can select I will install operating system later next Linux Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 64 bit next rack 1 and select a directory which I have created uh, rack 1 inside VMS rack 1 next number of processor 2 number of core 1 is fine next I will assign 1 GB mem physical memory to the uh, node 1 next we'll use bridge network LSI logic uh, is fine recommended one select next create new virtual disk I will assign 40 GB to rec node 1 store virtual disk as a single file browse for the path HDD one dot VMDK next you can customize the hardware and add one other uh, network for uh, private and public IP addresses yes network adapter use bridge network and close finish virtual machine has been created I will start installation of Linux will choose an operating system okay in power on this virtual machine press enter I will create two nodes for my cluster rack node 1 rack 1 and rack 2 Totally, I will have three vir virtual machines one for open a file operating system, uh, which is uh, my storage, and the other two will be rack node one and rack two. Let's skip it. You can maximize the screen. click next select language English US English skip license number 
skip yes by default remove all partition on selected drive and create a default layout yes next okay I will assign uh, IP addresses manual IP address 192, 168, 0 0.158, 1, 255, 255, 255.0 assign manual IP to Ethernet 1 public IP address 192.168.1.0.51.255.255.255.0 2 fine and select uh, proper name for your domain rec one dot my domain click next yes continue time is fine choose a uh, administrator root password as you know I'm using default Oracle password for all the VMs you can customize your operating system here click next select whatever you want the required thing application you can select whatever application required this is not required I will uncheck this one sound is also not required select this one Java development We'll select uh, uncheck printing server base operating uh, system administrative tools not required but I will install Java click next I will install all the packages and will make this uh, virtual machine properly installed and ready uh, for uh, my uh, database then I will clone this uh, virtual machine to other one so I will create a same copy of uh, uh, virtual machine uh, rec one I will just rename and uh, will edit the IP addresses for rec two then I will go ahead for installation of uh, grid infrastructure in database installation then we'll go ahead for configuration and monitoring and everything click next the installation is uh, in progress it will take uh, a bit time once the installation completed I will show you post configuration installation configuration
the installation is in progress so after this we will install VMware tools you can install VMware tools direct uh, by clicking install uh, first uh, you have to mount uh, select CD drive and select your ISO image of uh, Red Hat Linux as it is selected so you can click on VMware install VMware tools when you click on this option the uh, VMware tool software uh, will be opening which is tar.gz uh, file you can unzip that file and you can proceed with the installation I will show you the other type of installation I have already inst uh, copied the software in my shared drive from there I will install the VMware tools which is very important for sharing uh, files between host and uh, guest operating systems Installation still in progress. Remaining time two minutes. In this video, we did two things. First, we create uh, virtual machine and we would uh, customize that and second we install Linux operating system Red Hat operating system so both were easy but the installation took almost half hour 30 minutes and finally it's done installation almost completed uh, just reboot the system
just a few steps uh, forward yes I will enable uh, firewall and will enable all the services because it's testing environment sometime I will need uh, I will have to till net and use SSH I can add uh, a listener port here 1521 or 2115 1521 I think TCP forward yes I will disable C Linux <coughs> sorry yes forward date and time you can set forward I will register later no need for creating a user because I have root user already okay this was a VMware creation and installation of Linux operating system on virtual machine in next video I will show you uh, VMware tools installation We'll log in from root user. The operating system is ready now. <coughs> 